Hi LCS artist, it's Mrs. Peterson here. Today we're going to be making a cake like artist Wayne Tebode. Wayne Tebode is famous for painting all different kinds of desserts, including cakes, pies, and ice cream. So let's get started. Today I'm holding my paper vertically, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my name in pencil, and I'm also going to write my room number in pencil, and then I'm going to flip over my paper so I can't see my name anymore. For this project, in addition to a pencil, you're going to need crayons. You're also going to need watercolor paint if you have it. And with that watercolor paint, I always need a paintbrush and a cup of water. So let's get started. Now, when I draw my cake, I'm going to be making a layer cake, which means that my cake has several different layers that are smaller on the top and it gets bigger on the bottom. When I draw this cake, I'm going to try to draw nice and big so I fill up most of my paper. So I'm going to start at the top of my paper and I'm going to draw an oval and it's a very skinny oval. And then I'm going to do two lines straight down on either side and then I'm going to connect it. This is the top layer of my cake. Now I'm going to do the middle layer of my cake. So I'm going to make another oval. It's going to go right around here. So I'm going to start on this side, make my very skinny oval, go to the other side. I'm not going to draw through the cake that I just made. Now next I'm going to do two lines straight down. I'm going to connect those lines and now I just need to make my bottom layer. So I'm going to make another oval. And then I'm going to make my lines going straight down. And then I'm going to connect those lines. And then I have my cake with three layers. One, two, three. Now for the next step, I'm going to be pretending that I'm adding icing to this cake and I'm going to be using crayons for that. So I'm just going to pick one color of crayon and when I draw my icing, I'm going to start at the top and work my way towards the bottom and I'm probably going to switch colors. So to make my icing, I just like to make a curvy line like this. It's also called a scalloped line. I'm going all the way around the top of my cake. So it looks like it has a layer of fluffy icing all the way around the top. Then I'm going to get a different color and I'm going to put a layer of icing with the same kind of line around the middle. And once again, I do have to do the outside of my oval and then I'm gonna go back and do the inside of my oval. And then I'm going to do the bottom layer of my cake with the icing. And I suggest you use crayon for this project because we are going to be painting and if you remember, when we use crayon and watercolor paint, the paint does not stick to the crayon because crayons are made of wax and water from the watercolor paint will not stick to the crayon. So now I have all my icing finished and I'm ready to decorate each layer of my cake. So I'm going to start at the top of my cake and I'm going to think of a pattern that I could use to decorate it. So I'm just going to trace my pencil lines. And then I think for this pattern, I'll do polka dots, but you can think of whatever design you'd like. You don't have to copy me. Remember a pattern is lines or shapes that repeat over and over and over again. So now I have my polka dots. Now I'm going to do the next layer of my cake and I'm going to think of a different pattern or color that I could do. So I'm going to do purple for this one. But as I said, you can do whatever colors you'd like. I'm going to trace this line here. 
And then maybe for this one, I'll do some diagonal lines. And then I'm going to pick one more pattern and one more color for the bottom of my cake. Just gonna move this up a little bit so I can reach it better. And then maybe for this one, I'll do hearts. But once again, this is totally up to you. If you don't wanna do hearts, you can do whatever pattern you would like. And try to draw nice and big just so it'll be easier when you go to paint. So I think that looks pretty good for my cake. Now I'm going to get all of my watercolor supplies out and we'll be ready to paint. Now I have my water and my watercolor paint and my paintbrush. If you do not have access to paint, you could always color this with color pencil or you could just color it with crayon. So I'm going to start off by painting my icing and then my smaller details and then I'll go back and do the bigger areas. So I'm just gonna give my paintbrush a bath because with watercolor paint you need lots of water and I'm going to pick one color for the top and I'm just going in and painting my icing. And then I'm going to give my paintbrush a bath. And then I'm gonna paint, after I do this icing here, I'm gonna paint my polka dots. And you can still see all of my crayon lines because the paint does not stick to the wax from the crayon. And if I need a little bit more water, I just give my paintbrush a bath. So I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to paint all my icing and all my small details. And then I'm gonna give everything a couple minutes to dry before I paint the background. I've now given my cake a few minutes to dry and the reason I did this is because watercolor paint tends to run together. So if I painted everything at once, my colors might get too mixed together. Now I'm just going to go back and I'm going to paint behind the background, behind all of the patterns that I made earlier. I'm also going to paint the space in between the icing. And once again, you can use whatever colors you like. Just make sure you're giving a paintbrush a bath every single time you change colors. So I'm just going back in and everywhere I already painted, I'm just going to paint between those areas. So I'm just going to keep painting my project and when it's all finished, I'll show you what it looks like. Wow, I'm finished with my project and I love how it turned out. I can't wait to see your cake masterpieces. Just to quickly review, we learned about artist Wayne Tebode and we drew a layer cake that we decorated with patterns, traced with crayon, and then painted with watercolor paints. I'll see you soon. Thanks for making this art with me.